Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. In this exercise, we are going to add an event to the grid view. The file is located at WS5, Web Content, Training, Type 2, Use Training 2, UI, XML. In this video, we add an event to the grid view. Get certain data from the data list. Find components with data list columns and edit table layout component. This is training to UI XML. Go to WS5 Web Content Training and type 2. Select training to UI XML. This is training to UI XML on the browser. We have been working on this page in the previous exercises. Now, let us check how to add an event to the grid view. Select a grid view on the design view. Then, go to the property view and select the event tab. The list of the events supported by the grid view is displayed. The data list also has events. Select outline view and click the head tab. Then, go to the data collection and select the data list. And, go to the property view and select the event tab. The list of the events that the data list has is displayed. Going back to the grid view events, select on cell click event. Click the script button. The script is automatically added. The on cell click event returns the row index, the column index and column ID of the clicked cell. So, we add a code to display this information. Save and reload the page. Click any cell. Upon clicking, the row index, the column index, and the column ID of the clicked cell is displayed. Now, let us get certain data upon user's cell clicking. What we want to do is, to display the email address of the clicked row, if the user clicks index 1 column. For this, we set the if condition for the column index to be 1, and use the get cell data API of the data list. Remember that to get data from the data list, you must use the APIs of the data list, not the grid view. When you use the get cell data API, specify the row and the column ID. We want to get the email address. So the email column ID. Select the email column on the data list and press F2 to copy the ID. Save. And reload the page. If you click the index 1 column, the email address of the clicked row is displayed. If you click other columns than the index 1 column, nothing will be displayed. It is recommended to specify the column with the column ID rather than the column index. So, we change the if condition from index 1 column to column ID employee code column. Save and reload the page. Clicking the employee code column will display the email address of the clicked row. Now, what we want to do is to display the email address of the clicked row upon users clicking any cell. For this purpose, we use getRowJSON API of the data list. After getting the entire row data, we are going to use only the email data. Save and reload the page. You click any cell. Then, you will see the email address of the clicked row. Disable code for the on cell click event. Save. And, reload the page. Now, we want to display the data of the clicked row on the lower part. Upon your clicking a cell on the grid view. To do this, we have bind components with data list columns. For the gender, we use a radio component. 
First, we need to bind this radio component with the data list. Check the radio component for the gender above and bind the same data list. For the position, we use a select box component. First, we need to bind this select box component with the data list. Check the select box for the position above and bind the same data list. Save and reload the page. You can see both the radio for gender and the select box for position display the selection items. Now, we are going to bind each data list column with a component. Go to Outline View and select the Head tab. Then, drag the data list column to the component on the Design View to bind with. Upon successful binding, a green dot is displayed. Gender column to the Gender box. Join Date column to the Joining Date box. And, the Position column to the Position box. Then, click each component and go to the property view. You can see all these binding is made through the ref property. The ref property of each component has the corresponding data list column ID. Now, save and reload the page. Click a row on the grid view. And, you can see the data of the clicked row is displayed in the lower part. Now, let us display more data on the detail part. The table layout is what makes up the detail structure. So, to do this, we have to add a row in the table layout component. Let us say that the added row is to display the email and the address. Select a cell in the table layout. Then, go to the palette view and search input box. Click the input box to insert in the table layout. Do the same for the address. Go to the outline view and the head tab. Click the data list. Then, drag the email column to the email input box and the address column to the address box on the design view. Save and reload the page. Click any cell on the grid view, and you can see the data of the clicked row is displayed on the lower part. Thank you for watching.